Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Adam with AK Lighting here to help you install and or improve your own landscape lighting. Well in today's video we're going to take out the existing lighting system that's here that's really old, not working very well, and replace it with something new and better. And I'll show you what that is coming right up. With that said, I'm going to jump right into the intro. All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you what it looks like to replace an old lighting system with a brand new lighting system. We're gonna be putting in the Volt Lighting Costco kit. And this is a, and this kit is something that a lot of people like to buy. And I'll kind of review the kit and then I'll show you the installation. And here we have all the old lights that are in the system and they're broken. A lot of them aren't working and these lights have a bi-pin in it with a small bi-pin light, so they barely shine any light even if they're working really well. The system also has some solar lights mixed in, so you'll have different light, different type of light on the house, so we're going to make it all consistent. So we've ripped it all up, and here it is, all the lights in the box right here, and we are going to replace it with this volt lighting kit. And here's Isaac fighting the bushes. And uh, yeah, good luck Isaac. So to review this volt lighting Costco kit, just a little bit, I'll show you what I like about it and things that I do not like about it. I really do like the quality of these fixtures and I am going to, if I haven't already, I'm gonna show you a video, I'll post a video comparing this light with another Volt Lighting Kit light and then another Volt Lighting light to show you the differences between them. So this is actually a really good light. The only downside to this is right here at the bottom, these stakes aren't normal type of stakes. So it's just a cylinder brass piece. So if you try to put another type of uh, mount on it, like if you wanna put it amount on the tree or the gutter, you will not be able to do it with these light fixtures. I do like that it comes with the bulb. These bulbs are really good. And then I think they're about a, a five watt, five and a half watt, so they're pretty bright. They're 2700K, which a lot of people like that color. I prefer the 3000K, but either one works fine. Then they have these brass path lights, and I use these a lot in my install, so I really like these. And then the bulbs that they have right there are super bright. So they, these, I love these. So these are definitely a 10 out of 10. Then you come over here, these hubs, in my other videos, if you've seen, I throw these away because they aren't useful at all. So I'll kind of give you an example. So for instance, if we put a hub here, you know, we'll put a stake on it. We put a hub here. Now, instead of wire just being along the house, we're gonna have to have wire coming this way, this way, and then from the trees and the path light. And so you have wires literally everywhere in the flower bed. And instead, I like to run my main wire and connect it to the light. So do a, a few daisy chain right here. And so the lights and the wires are completely out of the way against the wall instead of running all over the flower bed. It comes with these wire strippers. At first I thought it was really cool that they included these, but they suck. So um, after you use them a little bit, they might just last one install. We've tried to use it on multiple installs and I've ended up just throwing them away because they're really just a one-time use. Transformer, this is a pretty good transformer. Um, the con of this transformer is this photo cell. It only has a year warranty and it goes out a lot faster than you would hope. So, and I think you can buy these for about 20 to $30. So uh, that's the only downside with this. I do like in these transformers that you can just lift these up and then slide the wire in and then clamp it down. It's just a quick and easy um, insulation um, method. So another con to this is there's no way to mount the transformer 
on the wall. I wish it came with uh, a piece of metal here that you could put a screw through it and into the wall to hang it up. But instead, they wanted to make this an easy kit for everybody. So you have to put the transformer in here and then you put the stakes here and then it sits in the ground. So they, they try to have this kit be, once you have it, you can do literally everything. You have the tool that you need, and I guess it doesn't come with a shovel, but um, they don't, you don't need a drill. You have the, the clips, or you have these, these, so you don't even need a screwdriver. But I don't like that this just sits in the ground. We're gonna try to drill a hole in this and mount this on the wall and have this on there. Um, and the last thing is the wire. This this kit does not come with a lot of extra wire, like main wire. So this is a, a 14-2 wire. It is a really cool kind of idea with the spool. So you you put your finger here and you you pull the wire and then it will spin out. So that's a, a cool feature. Um, but they put a lot of their wire into this. And this wire is really thin, and it's easy to cut. So if you if you have, let's say, those hubs right there and have all the wire in the flower bed, more than likely you will cut this wire versus that thicker wire if you ended up planting flowers or something like that. So I don't like that there's so much of this thin wire. I end up throwing a lot of this away. All right, so that was the review, and I'm gonna get into the installation. All right, so we've already done quite a bit of work. We've put in some of the lights, so here's one. And if you notice that it's, we try to make it kind of center on this big wall so that you know it fits pretty center in between this feature and that feature. We ran the wire up against the house. We had to trim these bushes so that we could add this light and you won't have a lot of shadow effect going up because of the, the leaves. We ran the wire around here. We added that light. And again, we trimmed. Ran the wire here for this path light. Came over here to this gap. Went to this path light right here. So there's that path light and this path light and then you come to this light and then we ran the wire all the way over here and I am working on this light right here and Isaac is trenching so that we could get to this path light and then these three lights over here all right so here we have this light I'll show you, if you haven't seen my other videos of how I wire it up, um, I'm just gonna explain this briefly. So make sure you have some extra wire to work with that's attached to the light. So let's say the customer, instead of wanting it here, wants to put it out here or over there. There's enough wire that can move the light instead of you having to splice a new wire into it. And so I like to wrap the wire around the light and then when you wire this up so we have a wire coming from this side a wire going to the lights on the left and behind me so you have those two wires and then you have the wire from the light so that's three so you will be putting three wires together on one side and then three so i, I haven't finished this one yet so three on this other side and then I use my wire nut and I twist this on. And after that's on all the way, then you use waterproof caps. And these are filled with like a silicone gel and it's completely waterproof. And so you'll slide the waterproof cap. All right, so sorry for jumping ahead. Uh, I could not figure out how to do it with one hand. And uh, so this is the waterproof covers over the wire nuts. The wire nuts are pushed down really far so that the gel could cover it and it's completely waterproof. We're gonna wrap this wire around the light and then bury it. And then it's gonna look like this over here. Okay, so we finished everything else on the house and I'll walk through in just a second to show you 
This is the last light. It was really challenging to get to this spot because of all these roots, but it ended up working really well. We went under a couple roots right there, and then under that, under that last one, then Isaac's finishing up, putting the wire, uh, connecting the wires together. All right, so the transformer's on, and I'll show you all the lights. So that one's working. We've got the three lights there. This light. This light. That light. We have the path light there. That path light. Then we have these two lights. You can't see that one. And then the light on the tree over there. This light. And then here's the transformer. So this is what it looks like with it um, not mounted on the wall and instead uh, has the two stakes in the ground. I really don't like this look, but it's whatever. Also, I remembered a couple things that I don't like about this transformer. One of it being that this has a 15 volt. Most of the time, you should only use 12 or 13 volts unless the wire is running a really long distance to a light. If you use 15, the especially the lights that are really close to the transformer, the 15 is just a lot of volts and it will wear out the bulbs and it will reduce the life of those bulbs significantly. And I don't know why they built some of these um, transformers with just the 15 volt option. So that's something that I don't like. Um, let's see, what was the other thing? Uh, um, um, also, so the customer decided not to do this, but you need to make sure that these, this is a waterproof cover. So this is waterproof when it's closed. Make sure that you get one and insert one or install one that's completely waterproof because when there's a rain and we're in Texas and it rains really hard, um, a lot. So, um, this whole transformer will, will trip and it'll take a few hours for this to dry out and then the, the lights will be able to come back on. And the last thing I want to mention is here's all the wire that's left over that I will never use because of how thin it is. And those are the hubs that Volt uh, provides that we're going to throw away. So it's kind of a shame that I'm going to be throwing away all of the, this wire and those hubs when they probably should just add a little bit more of the thicker wires and we could use that instead of these. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. Please feel free to check out all the other videos that I have. I have videos that go over trenching, wiring, different types of lights, different installs, how to design your lighting system. So feel free to look at my channel and look at all the other videos that I have to offer. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.